Imagine opening your eyes for the first time to see a vast expanse of stars instead of a hospital ceiling. What would life be like if you were born in space? First off, let's talk about where you'd live. You wouldn't be in a cozy house or apartment, but probably in a space station or a spacecraft. This would be a highly controlled environment designed to keep you safe from the harsh realities of space. Every aspect of your surroundings would be engineered for survival, from the air you breathe to the food you eat. One of the first things you'd notice is the absence of gravity. Being born in microgravity means you'd float around effortlessly. As a baby, you wouldn't need to learn how to sit up, crawl, or walk. Instead, you'd learn to navigate by pushing off walls and objects. This might sound fun, but it comes with significant challenges. Your muscles and bones develop differently in microgravity, and without the constant pull of Earth's gravity, they could become weaker and more fragile over time. Education would be a unique experience too. You wouldn't have a typical classroom. Instead, you'd learn through virtual reality and interactive digital lessons. Your teachers could be thousands of miles away on Earth, or maybe even artificial intelligences programmed to educate you. Social interactions would be vastly different. Your entire world would be the crew of the spacecraft or station. This small group of people would be your family, friends, and community. Communication with people on Earth would be limited to video calls and messages, often with a delay due to the distance. This could lead to a very close-knit but potentially isolated upbringing. Healthcare would be another major consideration. In space, medical facilities would be limited, and any serious illness or injury would be a major concern. Preventative care would be essential, and you'd likely be monitored closely for any signs of health issues. Regular exercise would be a must to combat the effects of microgravity on your body. Now let's think about the psychological impact. The vastness of space, combined with the isolation from Earth, could be both awe-inspiring and daunting. You'd grow up with a unique perspective of the universe, but also with a sense of confinement. The beauty of the cosmos would be your backyard, but the lack of natural environments, no trees, rivers, or mountains, might make you long for the Earth you've never seen. Culturally, you'd have a blend of Earth traditions and new space customs. Celebrations like birthdays or holidays might be adapted to fit your unique lifestyle. You'd develop a culture that values resourcefulness, adaptability, and cooperation, essential traits for survival in space. Then, there's the question of what happens when you visit Earth. The first time you experience gravity, it would be overwhelming. Walking would be a challenge, and your body would have to adjust to the new environment. Earth's gravity would feel like a constant weight pulling you down, and your muscles and bones would need time to strengthen. The sensory overload of Earth's natural beauty, the colors, sounds, and smells, would be both exciting and disorienting. Your identity would be fascinating. You'd be a citizen of Earth, but also a child of the stars. You'd bridge two worlds, one bound by gravity and one defined by its absence. Your life would be a testament to human ingenuity and the spirit of exploration. So, what if you were born in space? Your life would be a blend of incredible challenges and unparalleled experiences. You'd embody the human drive to explore, adapt, and thrive in the most extreme environments. And in doing so, you'd inspire future generations to look up at the stars and dream of what lies beyond. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.